Hey y'all, Natural State of Mind here. I'm coming to you guys with my very first wash and go. Um, this is like my first wash and go since I have started rocking my uh, hair in its natural state again. Um, I used to do wash and goes exclusively when I first became natural in 2005. That was before I had like major, major damage. I didn't know what I was doing. I told y'all this before. And so then I rocked it straight. And so since two May 2010 is when I started rocking my hair in its natural state. So this is my wash and go. Um, as you guys can see, it's pretty curly, which is impressive. I didn't know I had all this going on. Um, let's see. So this is the front. I don't want to be, I don't know how the distance is like, so I don't want to be like all in your face, but this is the front, this is the side, this is the back, this is the other side, and here I'm at the front again. So what did I do? So I finger detangled my hair, which is really, uh, really time consuming. It took me like an hour. I was on the train on the way home. From work, I take a commuter train, and so it's a double decker. So I was kind of on the second floor by myself. So I took the time to finger detangle my hair and twist it up while I was on the train, which I know was very good, but hey, why not? Uh, moving on. Um, so when I got home, I co washed with Aubrey Organics Honeysuckle Rose. I love that stuff. I haven't used it in a long time because I really got into Giovanni, and I've been exclusively using that because it's inexpensive and it works well for me. Um, so I co-washed with that, washed that out, and then I used, uh, I just got this maybe a week ago. This is Oyen Hairmaid's Hairdo. It's a leave-in. It's really good. I'll do a review on it just so you, I don't want to give too much information right now. And then I put coconut oil on my hair to seal in the moisture, and then I used this, which is Curl Junkies Curl Queen. It's a styling gel. Um, on top, so I, I raked and smoothed in the hairdo, the the leave-in, and then I raked and smoothed in the the gel, which is the curl queen, um, and then I was left with this. So um, I air dried for like an hour, and then I got impatient, so I diffused the roots because most of my ends were all dry already, so some of the roots were still damp. And so I'm left with this, and I didn't really dig the shape because. Um, my hair is at an awkward length, and um, I'm really, I don't know, I'm indifferent about this wash and go. I'm, I guess it's cute or whatever, but I really prefer my twist outs and my braid outs and, you know, my stretch styles more than this. But um, maybe I'll try to do this more often because my hair does look awfully full because my hair is very fine and kind of thin, So, but it looks awfully full. So I pinned it up on the sides just using two bobby pins. So, um... And that's pretty much all I did. So I'm going to use the pineapple method tonight to see if I can keep these curls or if they will go away or not. Uh, hopefully I get two or three to hair out of this. I don't know. So I'm going to do the multi-pineapple method. I'm just going to do maybe like five pineapples and see what happens. So that's about it. Um, Alright. Good night, y'all. Peace.